March Madness back in Chicago. There are four big games tonight at the United Center and thousands of fans are heading to the West Side hoping for a long weekend cheering for their schools in the city. Mm, WGN's Mike Lowe live at the United Center with more tonight. Hey Mike. Mike and Pat, how are you? This is the first time the NCAA tournament has come back to Chicago since 2016. Four teams will be playing here this weekend, vying for a spot in the final four. The first game tips off tonight at 629, and fans tell us they are more than excited. I love Chicago. Chicago is a great place. Sweet home Chicago is home to the Sweet 16. Here for the game, really excited. It's phenomenal, it's really gonna be fun. It's the first time since fans were allowed back in the building last year that COVID restrictions are completely lifted. There will be no proof of vaccination requirement and no negative test requirement. Masks are optional and fans are elated. It's exciting. Um, we're looking forward to kind of things going back to normal or like as normal as it can be. In the first game, top seeded Kansas takes on number four Providence. And in the second game, March Madness becomes meteorology madness as the Miami Hurricanes play the Iowa State Cyclones. It is very windy, my goodness. On a cloudy day in the Windy City. But I do believe that basically a cyclone uh, sneaks up on you quicker than a hurricane does. <laughs> Hosting the March Madness Midwest Regionals means thousands of fans from across the country are booking hotel rooms in the city. I walked through several hotels this week and it was definitely the most activity I've seen in two years. And I think when you look at the fact we had a convention in town all week and then March Madness this weekend, it's going to be a really strong week for our hotels. The two Sweet 16 games are tonight. The winners advance to the Elite Eight on Sunday. I have been near the Sweet 16 several different times in my life and I've never gone. So this was it. I'm going to make sure that I was here for this one. It's one and done. And with basketball, every possession matters. So so much can change. It's the best time of year. And that first game again tips off in about an hour and a half. The second game tonight should start at about nine o'clock. And just a quick poll of fans uh, we've asked walking in say they've paid anywhere between $175 to $500 to get in the doors of the United Center. Reporting live on the West Side, Mike Lowe, WGN News.